Okay, so uh, adding and subtracting rational expressions again. Okay, so remember we need a lowest common denominator, so I need to break down this and this. Okay, so two numbers that make 2 when I multiply, that make negative 3 when I add. That's negative 2 and negative 1. Alright, so that is the first denominator broken down. The second denominator broken down is the difference of squares, so recognize that, it's the difference of squares. Again, y plus 1, y minus 1. And again, they've done one where they're repeating a y minus 1, but remember, don't write it twice. The common denominator. Okay, so, a lot of noise in the background. Right, okay, so, uh, I'm going to write that plus that. Okay, so the common denominator is y minus 2, y minus 1, okay, and a y plus 1, okay. So, unfortunately, I must write it twice, all right, so y minus 2, remember these are all the bits that have been broken down and left pieced back together again, y minus 1, y plus 1. Okay, so it's made up of all of this stuff here that came from these two. Okay, Okay. so if this here was the original denominator that I've broken down, okay, can you see if this is the new denominator, the extra piece, it looks like the extra piece is this y plus 1, that's the extra bit, have a look at it, it was y minus 2, y minus 1, it's now y minus 2, y minus 1, y plus 1, so again there was a 3 originally, the extra piece is a y plus 1, just look at the visuals, spot the difference, what's new on the bottom, put it on the top. Okay, so again this is the, the new lowest common denominator, I go back over here to that difference of squares one, okay let's have a look at this, so it was a y plus 1 and a y minus 1. It now has this as the extra bit. You can see that? That's the extra piece. So again, originally there was a 5 there. It now has a y minus 2 next to it. Okay? That's the extra piece that's on the bottom that now have to put on the top. Okay, so I know it gets a little very complicated this, but so just forget about the denominator now. You've got it. That's the kind of answer for the lowest common denominator. Y minus 2, Y minus 1, Y plus 1. I've got to work on the numerator. So I'm going to take all this on the top. Lots of distributive laws. The first one will give me 3Y plus 3. Okay, that's this one here. Then plus, plus, what's the minuses? I'll do a minus next. Uh, 5y minus 10, yeah? 5y, 5, 5 times negative 2. So that's me doing the distributive law. Now, I'm not going to write the lowest common denominator. Now, I'll, I'll put it in at the end. I know it's there. It's, it's not going to change. I'm just working on the numerator. So I have 3y and 5y is 8y. And 3 take away 10 is negative 7. Okay? Again, here we go. Do I have to write it? y minus 2. Just write in the lowest common denominator again. Y minus 1 with a Y plus 1. Okay, And I can't do any more than that. I mean, occasionally you might get something that you can factor out of the top that will cancel with something at the bottom. Supposing there was a Y plus 1 on the top, it would cancel a Y plus 1 on the bottom. But that's it. So just watch those. Might happen. But that there is the answer. All right? A lot of work. I'll do another one with a subtraction on the next video.